Thanks, Aaron. All right, cool. So yeah, if you don't have your practice pad and sticks, go ahead and get that out if you can, or if you have sticks or any kind, because we're going to be talking about um, some stick control and a little bit about rolls. And so, but first, what we're going to do is once you have that out, go ahead and stand up for me. We're going to talk about getting started to play. So if you have a little space there, stand up, and we're going to do a couple of stretches. So go ahead and reach super high to the sky. This is good just to get our blood flowing and make sure our body is ready to play. And I want you to go ahead and reach down to your toes. Reach down, hold for a second, and then slowly, slowly come up. All right, good, good. Now I see you put your, put your arm over here to one side and stretch that out. It's, it's really good and helpful to stretch before you play and switch arms, because that way your body's awake and ready to go, especially if it's cold outside. Sometimes your body may not be super ready to play. So now what I want you to do is look at, is, is get your hand like this, kind of like your Iron Man, and then turn it upside down. And you're very slightly just going to pull back. You don't want it to pull where it hurts. You just want to feel a light stretch. There you go. It's stretching your fingers out, getting ready to play. Awesome. I'm seeing people do it. Good. Go ahead and get your other hand. Same thing. Just pull a little bit, get those fingers ready to play. All right, there we go. So if you have your sticks, the first thing we're going to do is an exercise called eight on a hand. Eight on a hand is a very basic, very awesome exercise just to get your hands moving. So like I, I play this every single day. I go up to my practice pad, I get ready to play and I do this. So in case you don't know what eight on a hand is, I'm just gonna make sure I have my metronome first here. Um, is what you're doing is literally just eight on each hand. So you'll do eight on your right hand, eight on your left hand, and then stop. It looks like this. So I'm gonna go turn my metronome on because it's always important to practice with a metronome. There you go. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. It looks just like that. Eight on the right, eight on the left, and stop with one on the right. I think you can try that all together. So go ahead and keep yourself muted. That way we don't have a bunch of uh, feedback and sounds. So stay muted and let's try playing with this metronome. So everyone get ready to play. Eight on a hand, ready? Starting with our right hands. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. Nice, we're feeling our hands moving. What we're gonna do this time is start with our left hand. Left two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right two, stop, and so forth. All right, let's try that. Ready? Eight on each hand, starting with our left. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. Awesome. That's called eight on a hand. When you first start playing, just get those hands moving. Very simple exercise. But when you're playing, something that's really, really important is to always get what we call a good upstroke. So an upstroke is just the word up and stroke. And what it means is that when you're playing, the stick is coming right back up. In the same way that you would bounce a basketball, if any of y'all play basketball, you know how a basketball always bounces. That's what you're doing. You're just allowing the stick to come back up. So now try doing that slowly and just really exaggerate it. See how you feel how that comes up? You go ahead and try that. Yeah, you see how, how the stick will naturally bounce if you have something to play on? Probably even if you're rubber pencils you have, it'll probably still bounce a little bit. And so when you're doing eight on a hand, you want to make sure you have a good steady bounce, just like that, all right? So I'm going to turn this metronome back on, get both hands ready to go. This time we'll start with our right, left, and then one to end it. Ready? Here you go. One, two, three. Ready, go. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, stop. Perfect, awesome. I'm gonna bump up the tempo a little bit, get our hands moving. So right now, that's where our tempo, you feel that, that's our steady beat. This is what we listen to, we rock to. As percussionists and drummers, it's very important that we always keep a nice, steady tempo. That's, that's our job, is to keep, keep everyone else in line. So here we go, we're gonna start with the left hand this time. So left and right and left, ready? Eight on a hand. One, two, ready, go. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left. 
those little clasps, right? Let's do it one more time. This time we'll start with the right. One, two, ready, go. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Nice. So that's a very basic warm up. When you start playing, it's, that's a good way to start off your playing. And it's really good to start off with a warm up because you can hurt yourself in the long run if you don't warm up and stretch beforehand. And I'm not saying you have to do like an hour of yoga every time you play, but it's just really healthy to, and it helps focus the mind, all right? So like I said earlier, we're gonna talk about something called stick control. So stick control, it's just a, uh, a fancy name basically for right hand, left hand variations, just changing up how we're playing our hands. And this is good to help develop good and a good even sound. And then sometimes we're playing stuff where you have to double the right, double the left, maybe even triple the right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play both hands at the same time. If you can see this, the first sticking is just right, left, right, left. So we just call that alternating. Alternating means we're just going back and forth, back and forth. So I'm gonna turn this, this back down to, let's see, right, left, right, left. Just like that, we're gonna do that, all right? A nice steady, steady beat. So you're feeling that beat, so we're gonna go, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left, right, left. And we'll just go until we wanna stop, all right? You got that? Everyone have their right hand and left hand ready to play at the same time. And try to make sure you get a nice, even sound because sometimes you can, if you're right-handed, like I am, my right hand is stronger. And you don't want to sound like, hopefully that's coming across well on the video, but my right hand's way stronger. You want to make sure you have an even sound, all right? So pay attention to a good upstroke and a nice, even sound. Here we go. Ready? Have our sticks ready to go. One, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left. Make sure we got in a good upstroke. I want to see those sticks coming up in the air. I mean, you don't, you don't have to come way up, but just keep it nice. There you go. You feel that? It's good. Now we're going to stop right there, and now we're going to flip it. So we're going to go left, right, left, right. Just revert, um, just flipping it, starting from our left hand. All right? Ready? One, two, ready, go. Left, right, left. Make sure you have good upstrokes like we talked about. You want the stick to be coming off the head quickly like a basketball. You don't want your, your drum sticks to stay down on the pad. You want them coming up. There we go. Nice, nice. It's good to see y'all playing along. And one, two, ready, stop right there. Cool. Simple enough, right? <clears throat> Let's just get our hands moving. I'm going to bump up the tempo a little bit. You got that? We're feeling good there. We're going to start with the right hand. Back to number one. Right, left, right, left. You ready for that? Same thing. Just a little faster. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Right, left, right, left. Keep it going. Make sure you're having a good bounce. Good even sound. One, two, ready, stop. Cool. So, in the resource that Nathan sent into the into the group chat, there's all of these uh these mu this music, and so if you watch his video later on and you practice along with his video, you're looking at that music. You can follow along, and there's stickings in there as well. So R stands for right, L stands for left. We we figure that out, no problem. And so when you're playing, that's a good way to help practice and train your hands as you're learning those notes and stuff that Nathan went over. So now. We're gonna bump up the tempo a little more and do that same exercise number one, just alternating, all right? You're feeling that? Here we go, so right, left, right, left. One, two, ready, go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Good, good. And three, four, stop. <clears throat> Excuse me, should've got some water. Now we're gonna go left, right, left, right. Ready? Starting with the left hand first. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep going, do not stop. 
and stop right there. Awesome. So there's a certain word we call that. That is called a single stroke roll. So you can stay muted, but I want you to say those three words. Say single stroke roll. Single stroke roll. Just say that. That is what we call a rudiment in the drum world. So a rudiment is a big fancy word. But what it basically is, is when we play music and drums, it's like we're, uh, it's like we're making a cake. And so we have a little bit of uh, our rudiments or our flavors or our, um, I don't really know what you put in a cake, I guess eggs. So rudiments are like a uh, single stroke roll is like an egg. You have to put an egg in a cake. I know that for sure. And so when you're playing music, you want to learn these. The next thing we're going to learn is called a double stroke roll. So say single stroke roll. Now say double stroke roll. So if a single stroke roll is right, left, right, left, a double stroke roll, you probably figured it out by now, is number three, right, right, left, left. So instead of playing singles, we play doubles, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, left. So I'm gonna turn the metronome back down a bit for us to try this out. And we're gonna do number three, just keep it going. Right, right, left, left. Sounds good? So make sure when you're doing this too, you're getting a good distance sound as well when you're flipping. Because sometimes it's easy to do this. Check this out. Sometimes you may go right, right, left, left. And your first beat could be a lot louder. You don't want your first beat to be louder. You want a good, consistent sound on both of them. All right, we good to try this? Jump on in. And one, two, ready, go. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Keep going, keep going. And stop. Awesome, awesome. It's looking good. I can see y'all practicing that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it to do starting on the left hand. So number four, left, left, right, right. All right? So start with your left hand. Ready? To do our double stroke roll. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, and stop. Awesome, 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 awesome. I'm going to bump up the tempo and just say to yourself again, that is called a double stroke roll. We want to learn these so we can be able to play these because later on, that's how you can play rolls because there's different kinds of drum rolls. I know we've all heard drum rolls. Like we've all heard the beginning of that movie, the, the, we've all heard that before. And that's a drum roll. That's what, that's what we want to work on because that's how we sound really cool. We can play good drum rolls. So there's our new tempo. We're going to go back to number three. Right, right, left, left. One, two, and one, two, ready, go. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Nice, good, keep going. Make sure you're getting a good even sound, good upstrokes. The stick's not staying on the drum or the, or the head or whatever you're playing on. It's coming up. A nice bounce. Keep it going. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. A little more. Just keep going, keep going. One, two, we'll stop. One, two, ready, and stop. Nice. Good, good. Let's keep it going. Shake out your arms if you're getting tired. Um, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to throw them in the chat. I have the chat open. So if something comes up that doesn't make sense, just throw it in there and we'll talk about it. So here we go. Starting with the left hand this time. Left, left, right, right. Left hand first. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Keep going. Getting good sounds, good sounds. Left, left, right, right, stop. Oop, I just got off tempo a little bit there. But good, good, we're doing good. I want to bump that up a little more because normally when you play double stroke rolls, they're kind of fast. And so we got to train our hands, starting slowly and building that up. It's a very important thing about drumming is sometimes we can have really hard music, but it's always good to start slow and build up those skills, all right? Here we go, it's our tempo, we're feeling this. Right, right, left, left. We have that steady beat in our head, we're feeling it. You can tap your foot. Ready, here we go, one. Two, one, two, ready, go. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Good, keep going. Right, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, left. Good, good. Still 
keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and stop. Nice, nice. We're feeling good that fast. Tip, will give you a thumbs up if you're feeling good about that. Nice, I'm seeing some thumbs. All right, picture's so small, I gotta lean on in. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off our left hands. So if you're right-handed, it's gonna be a little harder, but that's not gonna be a problem because we've been building this up, all right? Here we go, ready? One, two, left hand. One, two, ready, go. Left, left, right, left. single stroke rolls and double stroke rolls. So everyone say single stroke roll one more time for me. Say single stroke roll. Now say double stroke roll. Single stroke roll, double stroke roll. We have those in our heads. So now we're gonna work on a couple more things with rolls. So I'm gonna move to this drum because this drum sounds better when you play rolls on it than a practice pad. Um, you can just stay on whatever you're staying on. I just like the sound of a real snare drum. So what we're gonna do now is, is a, 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 an exercise I like to do to help work on building my roll. Because you can't just pick up a sticks and have a, a good roll. It takes time, you have to build up to it. And that's cool, that's how, that's how learning works. So I'm gonna find my marker, here it is. Actually, let me grab a red, you probably see that better than blue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep going with these exercises on number one. But what we're going to do now is on the first right, I'm gonna put a Z there, you see that Z? we're gonna do a little buzz. So before we get to that, what I want you to do is get your drumstick and I want you to let it drop on whatever surface you're playing on. It should sound kind of like this. That's what we call a buzz. You don't want it to be too open. This is an example of too long. You don't want it too long, but you don't want it to be too short. You don't want that, you want a nice, even buzz. So try it out for a minute. Let that go. We get lots of nice bounces, lots of nice bounces. Let's try your other hand. Oh, my bad. There you go. You want a nice buzz. This drum's basically saying that's like buzz, buzz. That's what you want. Buzz. This is what to develop what we call a buzz roll. So we're learning three rolls today. So let's go ahead and get some more of those. You want to get that extra in your hand. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna slow us back down a little bit on the metronome. Yeah, that's a good tempo, I'm feeling that. So what we're gonna do, you see the Z over this first right? So we're gonna buzz that. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna go one, two, ready, go. Buzz, left, right, left. Buzz, left, right, left. Buzz, left, right, left. You see that? I think we can do that all together. Let's try that. I may even slow it down a little bit just so we're keeping a good tempo and we're feeling good about it, all right? Here we go, you feel that tempo? Buzz, left, right, left, yeah, that's it. Here we go, one, two, ready, go. Buzz, left, right, left. Buzz, left, right, left. Buzz, left, right, left. Keep going, buzz, left. What you want to do is try if you see if you can get a buzz all the way to the next note. Like you don't want it to go buzz, left. You hear that space that I want to buzz all the way to that next note. Check this out. You hear that? I'm gonna bump it up a back a little more. I'm not making it a little easier for us. Now that we've got our feet wet a little bit with a buzz, so we're gonna go buzz, left, right, left, buzz. All right, you want to buzz all the way to that next note. Ready? Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Buzz, left, right, left. Buzz, left, right, left. Buzz, left, right, left. Awesome, awesome. So you're getting used to that feeling. Now we're gonna switch to the switch the buzz to, to be on the left hand. So we're gonna go to number two over here. I don't know why I grabbed my eraser. So we're gonna start this time with a left hand buzz. So it's the exact same exercise, just starting with our left hand. So it looks like this. Left, right, left, right. Buzz, right, left, right. Sounds 
Sound good? Let's try it all together. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Buzz, right, left, right, buzz, right, left, right, buzz, right, left, right. Awesome. And then as you practice in your own time, just keep beefing that up. Like keep like picking up the tempo. So once that feels really good, you can go. And once you get that feeling good, a little faster. And then eventually, you can add two buzzes. So if you're looking right here, number one, this is some down the road stuff as you're working through that book and that link and that video that Nathan will have for you. As you're going through, we can do two buzzes and then two normal strokes. So it looks like this. So as you advance, these are some tools you can use to help build the role. So let's go ahead and, and review. So our first thing we did was a single stroke roll. Everyone say single stroke roll one more time for me. Now say double stroke roll. Now say buzz roll. And so those are our three rolls today. We did a single stroke roll, double stroke roll, and buzz roll. And just so we're all on the same page, a single stroke roll means we're just alternating. Right, left, right, left. That's a single stroke roll. Double stroke roll means we're doubling each hand. So right, right. Left, left, right, right, left, left. And as we progress, as we get to the buzz roll, which will sound like this. Or let me go back to the drum. <laughs> I pulled it up for a reason. Will sound like that when you buzz both hands all the way through. And we'll work up to that. Cool. So does anyone have any questions about what we did today? Now is the time to go ahead and unmute yourself. I know we don't want to keep you for too long. Don't want to overload you. So does anyone have any questions they want to ask? Any questions? All right, well, if no one has any questions, we can just stop there. I believe this video will be re-uploaded later so you can watch this again and play along again. And like Nathan said earlier, he has his videos up and that will talk more about how to read music. So we're talking about getting a good sound today and how to get a good upstroke and develop our, our three kinds of buzzes. And those videos Nathan will have will be very good on how to read music. Because eventually, um, I should have had something right here. Yeah, eventually you'll get to using what we have here into some actual music like this. And so, like I said, and we're just making a cake. So we're learning these basic fundamentals, these basic uh, rest flavors and things. We'll throw it in all together. So there's that. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, thanks so much. It's 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 been really really good. Um, I just had a question. So, if yeah. the if the kids um, haven't yet got drumsticks or a pad, where can you suggest that they get them? Oh, awesome! Yeah, if you don't have drumsticks, um, I know there's like Guitar Center, Music and Arts, Sam Ash, or like um, if you have access to like a, a smartphone of your parents, if you just even Google Music Store on the GPS, stuff will come up. And what I recommend are sticks that are not too thin. Let me get these sticks. So I'll come closer to the camera. These sticks are really thin. I don't know how well you can see the difference, but you also don't want like a, a really thick stick. You want to make sure you have a good general size stick. And I like sticks with a circle bead. So if you see like that, or here, these have a great circle on them. They're still in great condition. You don't want sticks that look necessarily like this on the end. You see the head, how it's like, very pointy, you want a nice circle drumstick because um, that's good for general playing. But these drumsticks with the pointy are great for drum set and you can use them on this. So if that's what you have now, don't stress about it. Just just use what you have because these these will work good. But I guess like, like uh, any music store will have drumsticks. I like this brand called Vic Fur because it's easy for you to tell where you put your thumb, which will be in the, the instruction thing about how to hold the drumsticks if you haven't learned that yet there's a, a flag you can just put your, your thumb right where the flag is and that's a good reference point and they make great sticks Aaron, um, what was the name again vic fur okay vic fur. yeah I'll, I'll 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 send this into the chat real quick great
And I think even most stores will have something called an, I'll, I'll, meet, I'll type this into the chat and then I'll talk about it. And most music stores will have that stick I just tipped in. It's called a Vic Firth SD1 General. I have one right here, I think. I should. Yeah, here they are. Sorry, I have a lot of sticks down here. So they look like this. Oh, that's not the same stick. And they have that nice circle bead. This is a great stick for pretty much playing any type of drum. And then when it comes to getting a practice pad, they make practice pads in all shapes and sizes. As long as the practice pad has a good surface, it doesn't matter what kind of practice pad. I kind of end up collecting practice pads over my years. I've been playing for about nine years. So like they make practice pads like this or rubbery and, and they work just great. They make practice pads that have a snare sound in them. That's fine too. This one is a, a Remo practice pad and it has a bit more of a bounce and a real realistic feel. But if you just go to a music store and look for practice pads, this one here is another rubber one. Um, almost, almost any surface, as long as it's flat and you get a little bit of bounce in it, that, that would be a good practice pad. Like I said, I have, I have tons of these. They make all different kinds. Um, just a good general practice pad. You don't want one that's too small because it might slide around as you play. So I would say like this is six inches. That's about the smallest you want to go for a practice pad. Um, and you don't want like a super big one. So I wouldn't go bigger than 12 or 14 inches. So just any music store around your area, like Guitar Center, Sam Ash, Music and Arts, they'll have, they'll have Vic for SD1 Generals and they'll have uh, practice pads. Yeah, you nylon, like nylon tips. <laughs> yeah, nylon tips are awesome. They sound great on drum set, like cymbals. They have a nice clean sound. So nylon tips are cool too. As long as you have a good pair of sticks that work, that's good. That's Thank you, cool. Nathan. That was a good idea. Any other questions or anything? Uh, hey guys, just a thought with the practice pads, like Aaron was saying, he's practicing with a metronome. Another really cool thing to do is listen to a song that you really like. So if you've got a song that, you know, maybe a pop song or something you listen to on the radio and it's got a good steady um, beat to it, then you can actually play your rudiments. You can play your stick technique work on the drum pads and it just makes it a little bit more fun because then you're not actually just listening to a click, but you're actually playing music in a kind of ensemble situation. You're playing with other people. And I know for me, I always enjoy making music much more when I've got other people around me. Um, so it's just good fun. And it's just a way you can, you can mix it up, play slower notes, or you can play quicker notes and just mix up um, those really good exercises that Aaron has put there on the, uh, on the, on the wall there behind you on the board. Um, so yeah, we'll share that in the chat, I think as well. So I'll just put that in there. Um, yeah, that's that a great of, idea. Um, right, if, left, right, left. I like playing to like, uh, if you listen to Cuban music, like that music's really exciting with drums. So if you ever don't know what to listen to and you don't want to listen to normal pop, if you just go on YouTube, look up Cuban, I'm sure something will come up and that's really exciting music to play with instead of just playing with a kind of boring click. So yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Well, Aaron, thanks so much. Um, we really appreciate your time. And I know just how hard you've worked this week to help us put all of this virtual conservatory together. Um, so we really value your time. And um, I'm sure you guys will want to thank Aaron if we can do a virtual clap. You guys want to thank Aaron? Yay, virtual clap. Thank you. Virtual clap. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I hope you learned something and enjoyed it. Yep. And just we'll put this up on the Facebook page. Um, so if you guys haven't liked it already, um, get your parents to go on Facebook if you haven't got an account and like our Facebook page at NSC Music and Arts. Just search that and you'll find the page and we'll get this video up and uh, uploaded. All right, guys. Enjoy All right. your lunch. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.